This is Bruce. Bruce likes quiet walks along the beach, a quiet book by the fire, and punching the crap out of everything he sees. Let me show you my big brawler tank build that I've been playing around with. Now, I think it is pretty easy for you to tell where the inspiration for the physical appearance of this character came from. But what I was trying to do with poor old Bruce here is make a big brawling tank build that can really stand their own in the middle of the fight. And I've really been playing around with brawling a lot to see if it is really beneficial. And it does seem like it does do a heap of damage, especially with the combos, the bonuses you get from that, and some of the perks, especially when you get to max out brawling and you get that final perk, which reduces the punch cost by one AP. So every punch on the cost two with a high coordination and especially speed as well which is what we've gone for for this build which you'll see when I get into the stats and attributes is that Bruce can move around the battlefield very quickly he can land a lot of punches in one turn and I've also gone for the serial killer quirk so that when he does kill someone which does actually happen very often you get that extra three AP so it's all about AP usage and punching the crap out of everyone I've been playing around with this build for a day or two now and my original thoughts were to make more more of a DPS brawler, but what I seem to find was that the strength is actually really important if you want to kind of keep them alive during the combat because they will take a ton of damage. Melee characters in general do take a ton of damage, especially when you get to some of the later stage enemies that just explode when you kill them. It's really hard to avoid these in some situations. So what I found is that a weaker melee character like the Bruce 1.0 that I had wasn't as beneficial. I did put a lot of points into evasion to allow him to, you know, avoid avoid some of those attacks, but it just wasn't working that well when he did take damage, it would just go down way too quickly. And often being in the middle of the fight, it's really hard to revive the player when you've got to send one of your range characters all the way over there. So, so the issue here was while Bruce 1.0 did heaps of damage, he would die a lot and I couldn't really get to him to revive without just wasting a whole character's turn to run all the way over there. And that was really getting on my nerves. Bruce 2.0 is more of a tank and can put some of that better armor on as well. And still has a fair amount of damage output. It's not as high, but it's still very high. Brawlers do have a very high amount of damage output, even if you're not putting those points directly into trying to up your crit chance, you're more worrying about your constitution. They still do a fair amount of damage and they can actually hold their own, which is the benefit here. So let's get into some of the stats, attributes, and perks that we have gone with for Bruce. The main two attributes for Bruce is coordination and speed. Coordination is beneficial for the action points. When you max it out, you get plus five and speed mostly for the combat speed. The evasion is also a benefit and initiative less so, but the combat speed is beneficial because you need to be able to move around the battlefield as quickly as possible and get within melee range so you can punch away. This is why this is our primary two. Now, as I said, my original build for Bruce had more points into intelligence for the crit chance, but what we've done here is I've put more into strength. I've gone with six strength that allows me to use some of the better armor in the game, as well as having that extra constitution and constitution per level so that Bruce has a lot of health. He's now the highest health character in my party. And the fourth attribute that I'd really put points into would be intelligence for the crit chance and the crit heal chance, which is also important for this build because we are working on a tanky build and the crit chance is still important. I've just felt that in my own experience that having the extra constitution has been more beneficial. For the quirk, we went with serial killer it does reduce your ap by one however when you kill an enemy you get that plus three per combat turn and this is more beneficial in wasteland 3 because of the way the turns work in that all of your allies will take their turn at once so you can plan to finish off an enemy with a particular character say you've got bruce fighting a character one-on-one -on -one. you can whittle him down with some ranged attacks finish it off with a heavy punch and then move on to the next target with bruce for the background i went with lethal weapon for the extra melee damage there's probably a couple of options you could go here and you could even just go bookworm for the extra extra XP, it is up to you. And I think the really important thing with quirks and background is that it is personal choice. So you could, for quirk, you go something like Medical Marvel, if you would like Bruce to be able to stay in the fight a bit longer, have a bit more health, if you're finding that he's going down a lot. And same with background, there's plenty of other choices that you could go for. Now let's move into skills. The main skill is obviously brawling. Brawling is the main skill and you should max this out as soon as possible. The reason for this is the perks, which we'll get into when we get into the perks, but you should max out brawling as soon as you can. I've also put five 
points into first aid for the overheal perk, which is really beneficial on any tank and the leadership on five for the demoralize perk. After that, it's really personal preference, how you wanna build out your character, but these are the key things to make this same Bruce build work. You could put points into nerd stuff, you could put points into weird science if you really wanna go that full Bruce Banner look that we're going for here, but you could really do whatever you like with your character. I have one point into nerd stuff because I like my melee character to be able to hack robots and machines that are in the battlefield. Because they're gonna be moving around a lot, it's beneficial for them to be able to get close to those machines and hack them. That's why I have the points in nerd stuff. Now, let's move on to perks. One of the better things about the brawling builds is that all the perks in the brawling line are actually beneficial for brawlers compared to say small arms or automatic rifles where half the perks are for one type of weapon and the other half are for another. The brawling perks are all beneficial for this line. The mains one you need here is the Shalone Surprise because this will improve your damage output by a huge amount. Whenever you have a couple of combos going, you should use this perk as often as possible as the more combo meter you have, it will deal an extra two armor penetration and 10 damage. But the reason we've gone leadership is because if a target is demoralized, it will also deal an extra 100% damage. That's why Bruce is also a leader and has this perk so that you can demoralize the targets around you and then pop this ability. The combo perks in this line are also beneficial, but the main one is the level 10 perk that you need here, which is to reduce your brawling attacks by one AP down to two from three. This means you will be able to get much more attacks in each turn and the combo system really feeds off this because you can just keep swinging away. Maximizing your damage output and also feeding into our serial killer choice when you get that three extra ap you could move a space and then punch again rather than punching itself costing you three ap the last two perks that you need for this build are overhealing for any healing items that you use on a target including yourself your max con is increased by 25 percent for the next three turns as a tank build this is really important when you do take damage you can pop this by using a healing item and you'll get more con it's really beneficial to use this you can also spec other things into healing bonuses like putting things on your armor or any of the other perks in this line. But the main thing other than this we need is the leadership demoralizer perk so that we can use the full benefits of the Shalone Surprise perk. This is the reason that we have this here. Bruce isn't my leader, but he is moving around the battlefield a lot and does need to use demoralize from a fair distance sometimes away from my actual leader. So it's a good idea to have this ability. Also, something that I've found with leadership itself is that because Bruce is multi-killing a lot, you do get that extra damage bonus to the rest of your party if he is actually close to them. So there's a little bit of extra benefit to that as well. Other than that though, the same as skills, you can really put them into wherever you choose. The supplementary skills for most characters are really up to your own choice of what your rest of your ranges are. But for this build to really function, this is what I believe that you really need. The brawling characters are a ton of fun and the combo system that they have is really unique to the character. So I think it's a good idea to at least play around with a brawler character and see if you like it. I always had a melee character in my team, but switching to a brawler has actually been more enjoyable than I thought it was and the brawling perks here are super beneficial and a melee character itself is still really powerful but I think there is such a benefit to having a brawler in your team. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other builds that you would like to see and if you've made a brawler build let me know what that build is and how you've changed it up from the one that I've created and shown you here. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram and on Twitch where I stream three days a week, Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, Australian night times. We've been streaming a lot of Wasteland 3 so if you do want to see more about this game come stop by and have a chat would love to have you there thank you for watching this video my name is norza and i hope you have a great day